Now, in the main opposition, People's Democratic Party, uh, there appears to be a leadership void with no clear direction for the party. Uh, this was what uh, was witnessed in uh, the National Assembly. But that appointment uh, uh, is causing a stir in both camps uh, of the All Progressives Congress and uh, the uh, PDP and some other minority parties. You've heard uh, Chief Body George also give his perspective on that. Joining us now to spatiate and expand this is Kasim Afegwa, who is a strong supporter of the president and also a supporter of the much talked about G5. Good to see you and thanks for your time. It's a pleasure. Thank uh, you very much. And, and now the politicking is there. First, uh, the APC is spoken uh, through its chairman saying that the leadership in uh, the National Assembly isn't what the party uh, wants. Uh, tell us your reading, uh, perhaps, uh, and, and the whole talk about the minority not getting to some of the big minority parties, uh, talking about the minority leadership position, for instance, uh, the PDP. Well, I think for a party that uh, is in power, there has to be, you know, conscious, they have to be conscious in terms of the platforms upon which they ventilate their reservations concerning certain positions that have been taken by other institutions of democracy. I would have expected that the national chairman of the APC, Adam Abdullahi, I would expect him to rub minds with the president of the country, rub minds with the leadership of the National Assembly, which expect to send a president, speaker, a speaker, deputy, send a president, and the deputy speaker to, you know, interrogate whatever his reservations are concerning the outcome of the leadership positions. Because from day one, the party under him did nominate Akwabi as candidate of the party for Senate presidency, nominated the, the deputy Senate president, the speaker, and the deputy speaker. Even when there were complaints that they were, that nomination was not a product of uh, uh, deeper consultations, he, they went ahead, you know, and uh, they did that. And I remember that when some other person visited him, he also recounted that, okay, no, they will still, it was still open for further, to further negotiations and, and consultations. So I think the chairman has to come out firm in terms of how he arrives at decisions with the relevant stakeholders. Because the NWC is peopled by you know, different persons from different geopolitical zones and all of that. And in taking a decision, they have to interrogate the issue properly and robustly engage with other stakeholders before they come out a decision. Because this present position of his is a minority position, if you ask me. Because a lot of the NWC members are at peace with what transpired at the National Assembly. Having given them the power to, choo to choose a Pabio and what have you, you allow them to choose their, their principal officers. You don't have to be dictating to them at that level. Now let's dig in deep uh, to some of the key uh, issues uh, raised by Body Judge, uh, who is uh, a member of the PDP. You were a member of the PDP uh, in the twilight of that uh, campaign, uh, and uh, he's spoken, telling Nigerians what actually happened uh, that cost uh, the party its defeat. Uh, let us in on some of those key things. Uh, there's the yes and wiki angle, the Atiku Abubakar angle, and he just said something about the Southwest and the South, South which was not. Uh, carried along, politically speaking now, uh, using Nigerian political lexicon in that uh, uh, political journey. Well, uh, Suleiman, except for now that uh, I will be taking a shot at the governorship you know, of Edo State sometimes next year, I wouldn't call myself a politician because when you speak truth to power, they tag you. Oh, it's too independent minded. Oh, it cannot be subjected to control. People don't like speaking truth in politics. That is the bane of the problem. When I started the crisis in PDP. You started the crisis in yes, the PDP? Yes, I started the crisis that, you know, uh, that led to the exit of the chairman, the former chairman, Uche Secondus. That was the beginning of the problem of PDP. 
because they were working from answer to question. Everything was being stereotyped, you know, in favor of Atiku, you know, to emerge as a candidate of the party, even when it was obvious that the constitution of the party supported Zoni in Article 7, Association 2C. So we kept hammering in, but this leadership were just playing game. When Yochayu came on board, I thought that being a founding member of the party, that he was going to come out you know, strongly. But they set up a committee to look at each of Zoni. Before the committee even concluded his sitting, they, were started, they had started selling forms. Every, every aspirant had almost purchased the form. When you know clearly that in 2019, no southern aspirant contested for presidential election in PDP. They all allowed the northern uh, aspirants and Atiku emerged and we rallied around him and all of that. 2023, again, you, you are still dwelling on the same persona, the same candidate or same aspirant. So, and they plotted the whole thing to favor him. And at the end of the day, I'm happy that, you know, I left. I stated my point, I left, and I commended then the position of the 14 governors from the north, of APC, who said no. Even though Amelawa was uh, flexing muscles trying to contest, they said no, you have to, you have to subsume your aspiration, let us give the southern, you know, uh, but, 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 but the leaving, country the leaving, Was that a good alternative? Because I asked uh, Chief uh, Brother George, uh, he, he decided to stay back and build the party. Who? Uh, shouldn't you, uh, shouldn't an, you an, have it's stayed it's back? A, it's an old man, it's at the uh, departure lounge. No, 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 no. I think good, that, with good that, respect. That, that's that's no, derogatory. With, good, res with yeah. good respect to him, I'm not, uh, I'm not, we, I'm we, not deriding we, we, him. We need to take it back. Okay, um, okay. Okay, I'm sorry for saying that, but he's an old man, so his politics are different from mine. There are things he can stomach. When I get to his age, I want to, I will stomach such things and just relax. I will just sit down in my house and all. But at my age, I'm still going around. We are moving around and investing more energy in our political process than some of these old men. That's the truth. And they can play the role of advisor. El elderly ones. No, is, they can. Is, they, is they, better. It's a better they word can, to qualify. Don't, don't choose words for me. No, no, no. It, it could be derogatory. Well, men. No, no, they no. It could. It could. No, no. It could be. It could be. No, no. It could be derogatory when we say okay, old Okay, the men. elderly ones. Elderly okay, ones. the statesmen. Go ahead, uh, Abby. The statesmen. They are better now to sit, sitting down, giving advice to the younger ones and all of that. But I can't, you can't you can force me to swallow the fledging of a process that was programmed to fail. Then I will, I will, I have you supported an article in 2019. You want me in 2023 again to still come out and be shouting at both for article when it is naturally the turn of the South? No, I won't do that. For, particularly for a plural society like Nigeria, where you need to balance the power algorithms and ensure that you know, every interest is accommodated in, in the sense of inclusion, you know. So I, I, I just felt that, no, I couldn't stomach that. I, it was better for me to support a southern a candidate of APC from the southern extraction of the country. But again, if you look at it critically, yeah. it goes beyond national crisis. For instance, uh, one of the G5, uh, speaking of which, uh, the former governor of River State, Yeson Wike, uh, he state the party there, the PDP, is also... Uh, having a, a, a bit of his own challenge. You see, the point is, at the presidential election, the APC, you know, uh, ripped from the crisis of the PDP. The PDP had a G5. They had a candidate that was arrogant, unable to reach out to the G5 you know, members, some person will say, no, 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 no. Say, remove are you, because he promised that he would step down if a candidate from the north emerged. He, he, he didn't. They were playing ding-dong, you know, game. And so, uh, Wiki, as a governor, said he's not going to leave the party, but he will work within the party to ensure that justice is done. Did, did, uh, did Wiki truly work against his party? Wiki supported the APC. If you look at the pattern of the results from River States, since 1999 up until 2023, no party has won River State. Even when uh, Amici in 2019 
was a minister and worked, you know, for the re-election of uh, Buhari, they never, they never defeated PDP. So in other so words... So in, in, in the 2023, the influence of Wiki saw to the point that despite all the crises, you know, insecurity and what have you, they still scored 231,000 votes as against PDP 88,000 and Labour Party 175,000. Well, I'm not looking at the figures for now yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm because just th th those are being contested. And, the, and, the, and Wicke's influence is also, uh, it also extends to other states. And so because of that G5, they played a lot of role to ensure that a southern president emerged. Now, now let me ask you this quickly yes. here, uh, point blank. Now that the uh, National Assembly is back and uh, any moment from now, the president is likely to send his uh, ministerial nominees uh, to the National Assembly. Uh, do you see the man you just spoke about, Yeson Wike, making the list who is not a member of the APC? He doesn't have to be a member of APC. I think Nigerians must get himself no, off he, this. No, is, no, no. Is he, is he making the list? No, he, 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 I'm not President <laughs> Tinubu, one. But I will pray that he makes the list because... Uh, when someone has assisted you to get to the position of power, it is only then you can begin to talk about power sharing. If President Tinubu had failed and Atiku had gone, uh, Wike would be licking his wounds. So now that the person he supported, don't forget that President Mullah Tinubu went to that place to campaign, he hosted him, he also did, after he won the election, he also hosted him and all of that, commissioned uh, flyover and other projects. That means the man has bought into the campaign agenda, the Renew Hope agenda of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. So I will I'll, I'll be, I'll be conversing for a week to emerge as minister, given his capacity, given his openness, his courage, and his guts, and the fact that he doesn't do things under the bushel. He comes out openly to tell you what he wants to do. And this kind of bluntness is what you desire in politics to actually you know, speak the minds of the people, not necessarily those who will be hiding in the night and playing this role, and during the day, they will be pretending to be this. So, for me, in Rivers, we didn't see Amechi campaign with Ashiwa Jibala to do a candidate of his party. But when the elections were over, presidential election was over, I saw him campaigning with Tony Cole. So, you've always spoken quickly here, this is about you, you've always spoken that you're not a member of the APC yet. And I, have joined, I have joined the APC. So, because I was going to ask, because yes. you did say you were going to run. Because I'm going to run, I, I'm going to run, I'm going to run governorship elections. So you're back under APC. in the APC because yes. you were a member. I was a foundation member of the APC. I left because of the incompetence and lack of performance of President Buhari. So do you think mm -hmm. uh, Yeson Wike is likely to be a member of the APC? He, might, he doesn't have to join the APC, but I want him to be a member of the cabinet. I want him to be a minister. So I give him a very, you know, important ministry that he will bring his wealth of experience, his courage, his boldness, and his and his capacity to bear. You speak you as know, if you, you, if, you, have, if, you have an inkling of something. No, if you give him works, if you give him an energy sector that has become almost uh, uh, you know, comatose, he will be able to make an impact because he wouldn't want to fail. You know, the president spoke about something. He said, a, a government of national competence. No government or national unity. And, and needs, that national he competence, needs, needs a, a competent man like a wiki and some other persons to be able to move the country forward. We and, are talking and, about the country. We are not talking about party now. Once you win an election, you, the larger country becomes your own constituency. And so you, you are not detained by the But, but, but he, can't, he can't be partyless. Uh, he will be, be a member of PDP. He will be a member of PDP and he will still be, he will when be working. There's, when there's crisis? What, cri what crisis? He, his, his men, his men said through the National Assembly, weakest men say true, his camp say true, he's still, he's still holding the stronger edge of the sword. And so what are you talking about? People don't understand that Wiki has imparted in people's political lives across the country. I don't want to mention things on air here, but some of us who know him, who know him closely, we knew what he did in the 2023 elections, the kind of support he gave to people across the country. That's why you could see his, uh, his supporters emerging as minority leader and uh, what have you in the House of Reps and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and in the Senate.
Kasim Afegwa, a fine place for us to live it, and we'll say thank you for coming on our Rice Prime. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much.